Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm showing you how to roast spaghetti squash. Now, spaghetti squash is one of my personal favorites because it's a great substitution for pasta. It's low in calories, low in carbs, gluten-free, and at the very least, it's a simple way to get an extra veggie on the plate. So here's all you have to do. Lay the squash on its side, and then we're just gonna trim off the top and the bottom. This is gonna make it easier to cut into. I find rocking the knife back and forth is the best way to go about this. Then stand the squash up on that flat edge we've created and take the center of your knife right over the top of the squash and then gently use your weight and the weight of the knife and again, rock back and forth and the knife will slide right through the squash. Hands down, easiest way to do this. Then once you've got your two halves, you wanna scoop out all the seeds and that stringy squash that you see in the center there. So just grab a spoon and start scooping that out. And remember, don't throw the seeds away because you can roast these seeds up just like you would roast the pumpkin seeds. They are a delicious snack. So once you've got both halves all cleaned up and ready to go, I just like to season them before I pop them in the oven. So I give each half a little bit of olive oil. It's probably about a teaspoon between the two halves. Then just brush that in. If you didn't have a pastry brush, you could just use your fingers. And then season it with a little bit of salt, fresh black pepper, and of course, my tried and true garlic powder. A Little bit on everything. Now, guys, you don't have to season this before you roast it up, but it's just an easy way to get an extra layer of flavor. Then from here, you just wanna lie them skin side up on a rimmed baking sheet that you've lined with either some parchment paper or a Silpat mat, and that's just gonna make for easy cleanup. Then we're gonna pop it into a 375 degree oven and let this cook for about 35, 40 minutes, depending on the size of the squash. Now, towards the end of my Spaghetti Squash 101 video, I show you guys how to microwave a spaghetti squash. And this is a really convenient option, especially when time is not on your side. But if you do have the extra time, I definitely recommend going for the roast because roasting vegetables will always result in a deeper, richer flavor, and it just adds another layer of yumminess to the dish. Once your squash has cooked and has had a little bit of time to cool off, all you need to do is grab a fork and you're just gonna gently start to shred the squash and what you'll see is it starts to pull away into these very thin spaghetti-like strands. And then you just wanna do that until you get down to the skin. Then once you've got all the squash out of the shell, you can take these little strands and use them just the way you would pasta. So you could serve it up with your favorite homemade tomato sauce, maybe serve it with some veggies or some chicken, or keep it really simple. And my favorite is just give it a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, another hit of salt and pepper, and sprinkle it with a little garlic powder. Mmm, it is like al dente pasta. It has a little bite to it, and all of the Italian flavors that I use there, absolutely delish. What about you guys? Have you ever tried making spaghetti squash at home before? And if so, what's your favorite way of making it? I'd love to hear all of your ideas down in the comments below. For more simple and nutritious recipes, tips, and ideas, be sure you come on over to cleananddelicious.com, where you can print all the recipes, save your favorites right to your own personal recipe box, and subscribe to my newsletter. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you next time with another how to. Now spaghetti squash is one of my personal favorites because it's really, that was a little messed up. Here we go. Now towards the end of my spaghetti squash 101 video, maybe it's showing right here. Maybe not. Point to it. Don't point to it.